Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. Uh, can we get you some food? Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I have some green? What do you mean? I don't like any of the food. Right? Yeah. Nice Still having a bit of banter today with Love, love Joy. Nice, uh, nice dressing gear. Yeah. Could we pump it in here? What have we got here then? Chicken. Um, have you got anything more plain? I don't. Is that, is that, you know, that meat and potato? Is there anything in it? Vegetarian. 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 Potatoes. You can have salad if you want. I'll just, um, can I have some of them bread rolls, please? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. He's back on the pay per view show, Edward. He's always on the pay per view shows. They love him, though, don't they? Pay per view pappy. Pay per view. Why are you on the pay-per-view shows? I think because I, I think apart from the main event, I think me and Lovejoy has got the most interest. Would yeah. you agree? Uh, no, but I think it's up there. <laughs> uh, he's got I, a point I, to I be fair. I think it has. I 100% yeah. think it has. I know you've got to say that, but me and Lovejoy are more interested the, 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 the truth is, is that 90... 90% of the pay-per-view is bought on the main event. Actually, probably more, actually. But I think we've got a great card. I do. I, I love his fight. I think Selby Cambosas is a fucking brilliant fight. I think Hannah Rankin against Savannah Marshall, I can't wait to see. I think Tommy McCarthy's in a great fight. I even like the Commonwealth uh, girls fight as well, is a great fight as well. Ram Ali's making their debut, which we're announcing. But yes, Dave, you have always bring great value to the show. That's what Let's I'm just saying. Win, That's eh? what I was saying. You're usually very direct with him before fights. You kind of just tell him, look, blah, blah. What have you told him ahead of this Lovejoy fight now? He knows what to do. He's got to go in and win the fight. You know what I mean? It's, ultimately, it's a fight. He's been around the block. He's fought everybody. He's boxed well. He's boxed shit. He's tried. He hasn't tried. But, you know, I think he's worked hard. I think he's in good shape. I think he's got a good team around him. He's got to win the fight. Beats Lovejoy. What can that lead to? I think he'd get the AJ fight next. <laughs> Listen, you never know in this game, you just got to keep winning. Ultimately, by the way, in heavyweight boxing, an opportunity can come at any time. There's always people looking for fights. It's about moving in the right lines, it's about moving in the right direction. He could get, this is what I said to him with a Dubois fight, you know. He could go and fight Dubois, he could go and fight, I don't know, Lewis Ortiz again, he could fucking fight Andy Ritt. Like, he's, he's a perfect opponent for those guys. But what do you want to do? You want to spend your life being an opponent or a contender? So if he can get a couple of decent wins, he can be a contender again. If not, he's always going to be an opponent in the big fights. Great to pay off a few houses, but not the side you want to be on. You said to me recently last week that you felt in the past you've been brought over to basically being beat. Mm. Is that how you felt? Well, that's what Eddie, Eddie was saying there, like the white fight or tees. I brought him in to get and yoke and No, stuff. he's been brought in as the opponent. Of course. Like well, the... But, but listen, when you haven't been built and you're not considered to be a prospect or a TV star, you are an opponent, that's what you are. He fought Dillian White as an opponent, he fought Luis Ortiz as an opponent. It's only because I started to feel sorry for him and actually started to like him. I thought, you know what, we'll have a bit of fun with this bloke. Then I found out he's actually got a personality, then I find out he can fight a little bit. So I thought, actually, let's go on a little bit of a run. I'll get so much abuse for every time I put him on the show, for the positive, you know, what he says about, mate, comes the negative, why do you give this bloke, I mean, you see other fighters moaning that he's getting opportunities. But he's getting opportunities because I like him and people like him. So, and he's actually, generally, eight times out of 10, nine times out of 10, he's very entertaining in the ring as well. But, you know, at some point, you can't just be a novelty act. You know what I mean? And Dave's at the point now where really the novelty act is over. You actually start winning some significant fights or then, or you do just take one of those fights and then you fuck off and you say, I can't believe actually what I've got out of boxing. I've got a nice few houses, I'm a bit of a star, I'll go on and be a bit of a TV personality, which I'm sure he'll be. But ultimately, if you want to be a contender, these are the fights you've got to win. It's very, very, very straightforward, boxing and life. Do you know what I mean? You, you either keep winning and keep progressing or you have to settle for what you can get. But he's very lucky and he, he has been given opportunity after opportunity and his is another one. 
You, you don't like this term, do you? Well, I'm not what a fan term? of... I'm not he a fan of, he, he I'm not spoke a fan about of it a lot the other day about this. I'm not a fan of love because I think... Oh, it's not love. After 10 amateur fights, yeah, starting on the small low to do what I've done, I don't think that's luck. I think that's me, A, being a lot smarter than people think I am, and B, not being that bad at boxing, really. Would you agree? The term being given yeah. opportunities... It, it, he doesn't. You don't agree with that term. Well, I think I get the opportunities because pe people watch me, and they do. I think. Uh, yeah, but you, yeah, but you're given opportunities for a reason. You're not just given opportunities. Well, them reasons. Got, yeah, them reasons. Are, reasons are things you create. Not due. Yeah, not due to luck or something like that. I've created. I've created a little. I think I found a niche as well, and I think I've, I've, that, that's worked. Start for using me. fucking marketing terms and pretending you're a businessman. Just keep fucking telling <laughs> jokes on Instagram. Stop it. Of your own admission, you know nothing really about what Lovejoy is going to bring. No, no, no I, I expect Dave Allen to win the fight. I'm getting a mixture of he ain't very good and he's a big lump and he's very, very dangerous. But we don't know. Listen, one thing's for sure. He's going to be trying to take Dave's head off. right? And also, he can punch very hard. But I don't expect his engine to be great. But Dave's got to be careful. Dave's got to be a little bit smarter in there than he probably normally is. Um, yeah. Can I have me food now? Yes, you can. Right, thanks, mate. Oh. Cheers, Dave. Nice gown. Nice, mate. Are you going to wear that to walk out? <laughs> yeah. I should be no, 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 no. I will if you want. Novelty, innit? <laughs> Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.